Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with day two of the Newton's Nook Designs March release. The first day of the release I just had a card over on my blog so be sure to check out the video description for a link to the blog to check out today's card and yesterday's card and a chance to win the stamp sets introduced on each day. So the stamp set that I'm working with today is called Beautiful Wings. This is a follow-up to the Beautiful Blizzard and the Beautiful Blooms or Beautiful Blossoms stamp sets. It has that similar sort of paper quilled look to it. I um, thought that this would be a gorgeous set to do some gold embossing with. And to pair my gold embossing, I have this shiny gold paper from the paper source. And I'm going to be doing some die cutting and dry embossing with it. So you see here I'm lining up three circle dies for the three areas that I want to be sort of punched out and put some butterflies behind. And I'm going to do my die cutting first and then my embossing second. So I'm going to use the embossing folder after I die cut the three circles. If you try to die cut the three circles um, after you do the embossing, then you're going to flatten out some of your embossing. And that's not what I want here. I want my embossing to be really deep. And I am using these next level embossing folders from We Are Memory Keepers. And they are amazing. They give such great detail. But I think that they look particularly great with these sort of like shiny metallic papers because it really brings out the depth of the embossing. So once I had that finished, I started marking off where my circles were so I knew where I could emboss the butterflies and have them peek through the windows created with those circle dies. I'm going to use a variety of the butterflies available in the stamp set. It's not just butterflies though. There is, I believe, a, a dragonfly and another little bug. But I'm going to use the really large butterfly for the center circle as that's kind of the focal point. It is also the largest circle. And I'm going to be doing some gold embossing on this silver paper, which is also from the paper source. I have one locally here in New Jersey, and so I, I picked that up. I don't know if it's available online. I think, though, that paper source has an online store. I made sure to use my embossing uh, powder bag before I did this because with um, gold embossing powder you kind of get, do get some static. You get some static with most uh, embossing powder. I find clear to be the easiest but because I want a very certain look I want to make sure that I don't get stray embossing powder. I want this to be kind of classy and elegant and that's why I'm trying to you know use all these metallic colors and the depth but also simplicity and so you see here that I kind of periodically check to make sure that my butterflies are sticking out the way that I want them to and then before I choose a new butterfly um, or other image to put inside the circle I want to make sure it fits. So I decided that I would use the sentiment in the bottom circle because it was big enough and also it kind of makes sense as it sort of leads your eye into the card for the words to be there so I'm going to emboss my sentiment there same process and a little butterfly. I find that even though these sentiments are kind of um, fine and they're small sentiments, you can easily emboss them. And I decided to go with the fluttering by sentiment because it sort of just trails off. It says fluttering by to say dot dot dot. And so therefore you're going to be able to fill in later whatever sentiment you want for the card. So this way it can be a birthday card later on if I want it to. And I am going to take advantage of the dies that you see off there to the side. There are dies available that coordinate with this stamp set. And I find that I use the beautiful blizzard and beautiful blossom so much. I can only imagine I'll be using the beautiful wings just as much and will really want to have that die set as it's super convenient to be able to trim them out very easily with that. And I'm actually going to do some die cutting here with these little tiny butterflies. So I took this little extra strip. I've embossed three small butterflies to sort of add on as extra embellishment. Um, I believe I'm going to add them with a touch of foam tape too. So now that I've laid out a couple of things, I am going to emboss them all at once. This is a good tip because you do have to make sure your embossing um, tool is quite hot before you start embossing or you're going to get a lot of warping on your paper and so sometimes it's better if you have a couple of things to emboss instead of embossing each thing individually and waiting for your gun to heat up each time. Now once I had all of the butterflies and the sentiments where I wanted them I'm going to erase those little pencil marks that I made and now I'm ready to attach this silver panel onto the card. 
basically what I did was just sort of line it up the way that I like it and put a little just scotch tape on there to make sure that the panel stayed where I wanted it and then I adhered it with some more of uh, craft tape that's double-sided to sort of stick it down where I want it to go. But I thought it was easier to actually just use some simple tape first rather than the double-sided adhesive because I thought things might move around a little bit. And I do want to make sure those edges are sealed up. So again, I'm just going to come back to the good old scotch tape to make sure that the edges are sealed and it's not too floppy once it's on the card. And then I'll adhere this whole panel onto the card base. I wanted to add a few more of the butterflies just so that I could add a little bit of, again, dimension to the look because there are these layers um, and then the embossing adds dimension and then the dry embossing adds dimension. So um, I'm kind of trying to stick with that and lay them on in an interesting pattern to make sort of draw your eye up and around all of the different butterfly elements. And I also felt there was like just a touch, uh, too much empty space in that middle panel. And I'm going to try to fill that in a little bit with these here. Generally, I try to stick to like the rule that odds look better. Um, but I was kind of having a hard time with that because I was like, well, there already is one little butterfly in the sentiment panel. So does that count as one of the bunch or should I add like three extra or four extra? Because is he part of the odds? But in the end, I think that it, it turned out nice. And I really don't think that most people who receive these cards can be like, well, I'm sorry, but there was not an odd number of embellishments. So reject. Um, and that is it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in more crafting tutorials and card videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll share each week. Go over and check out the Newton's Nook Designs new March release blog hop for your chance to win this and the other stamp sets in the blog hop. And um, check out links for the products in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.